Hey, this is Sabrina, and I'm going to show you how you can edit your navigation bar within Teachable. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the back end of Teachable, and then you're going to go to Site, and then Navigation. Now on here, you're going to see a section for Navigation Bar, and by default, they have the Login and Sign Up options. From here, you can choose um, to have these be visible or not visible. Um, I always recommend having your login option visible, but the sign up option you can make um, visible or not visible. Then you have the option to add additional links. So we added on here all courses and my courses. So if they happen to be logged in, then they can go to my courses or they can go look at all the courses and see which ones they aren't subscribed to um, and go purchase them from there. Now, if you want to add another link, you just hit this orange add link button and then you choose where do you want this link to go? Do you want it to be in your footer navigation or in your main navigation? Then you can add your text. So let's say um, we want to add on here, um, let's say our blog, then you can put in the URL for the blog. You can choose whether you want it to open in a new tab or not. If you're linking to a website that isn't teachable or isn't your school, I recommend opening it in a new tab so they don't lose their place on your school. Then you can choose, do you want it to be visible to everybody, only people logged in, or only people logged out. So a great one to have on here would be um, maybe um, forgot uh, password. And then maybe I'll put that in the footer and then I can link that to the forgot password page um, so that way they can reset their password from there. And I don't th want that to be available for logged out people because if they're logged in, they probably know their password. Um, and then once you're done, you just hit add link and it should pop that right in. Oh, I don't have a URL. It'll put it right in, um, in the list on the footer or on the navigation bar based on um, which one you decide to put it in. You can also edit the link after the fact or delete it. So if you go to edit the link, you can go in here and just um, change whatever details you want from there. And that's it. Simple as that. If you have questions, let us know. And thank you so much for watching.